So hello everyone, I am Suraj and uh, this video is about character dissection in which you have to draw a character maybe from memory or maybe a character is already given and you have to draw it from a different angle in a different action based on the evaluation criteria. So this video is all about that. In one of my previous videos, I was talking about dissecting a character. So we are going to demonstrate how it is going to happen. So here it is. So this is the question that we have, uh, uh, the famous character Gauri, everybody, everybody draws this. I think this character was drawn by funny sir because I can see his strokes, I'm not sure but yeah. So we are going to dissect this character and we are going to draw it in a very different pose, not in the pose that it is asked in the exam because you have already drawn Gauri selling fishes so many times. So we are going to draw Gauri in a different uh, uh, pose. But before that, we are going to dissect Gauri. Okay. So, see, this is the character. And what I can see here is uh, the different elements of the character. I mean, uh, the torso, the abdomen, the head, the arms, and uh, the feet, as well as the palms. So, you can see here, I am thinking in terms of 3D forms. This is the basic torso of Gauri. Okay. And if you see, This is the center line of the whole body. It's a chest. Okay. And the, these lines are of very much prominence because these lines actually mark uh, the important elements like the sari and the blouse. Okay. But the basic 3D structure of the whole torso is this. this wherein this is the center line this is the center line okay this is the waist yeah this is the basic torso of gori now if see if, if she sits then this you have to mold this will bend down and it will bend down through the hips right so uh, that bend will take over because of the joints in the leg. Now, so you have to define the legs also here. So, the thing is, you can see here are the legs, starting legs, starting point of the legs. Uh, I mean, whatever the whatever you, it is visible, it's here. Okay. All you need to do is just connect the legs with the hip. Yeah. She's a cartoon. Obviously, this area, this particular area, usually is connected with the cloth very closely and rest everything down is loose so the leg should be connect doesn't matter how old how thick that leg is okay i'll do the same here also okay now since the legs are beneath the cloth we are not going to focus much on the structural detail of the leg but the thing is this is what gauri's leg should be I mean, it's okay if you change the shape. This is how her legs should be. Okay. Basic frustrum. Wide from the up and narrow on the bottom. So, same thing we are going to do with other elements like this. Uh, feet. Now what I can see here is that this is nothing but a chapati. This is a disc. Disc, right? It's like this. 
this is the bottom part this is the bottom part okay and here are the thumbs and other fingers okay this is the heel and here is the uh, ornament that she is wearing in her leg and then the legs continue now see you can you can exactly see how i uh, dissected the shape here i considered it as a chapati and i drew it from a different angle over here that's what the question is demanding this is what we are going to do with all the elements same thing we are going to draw do with the head see again oops oops ah i'm really struggling with the uh, pen tab nowadays because i'm habitual to draw on a cintiq hyon so it is exactly like the paper but anyways we have got an oval shape for an head and you know a 3d of oval is what an egg so her head is like an egg shape so you exactly see i'm not making this straight line not at all i am i am making a center line through the surface of this 3d because uh, this 3d form because what i am trying to do is i am trying to imagine in 3d all the structures in 3d okay so everything uh, now this this circle this line i have made so that i can mark the eyebrows okay now all these things you don't have to do in the exam hall at all these things should uh, should be done uh, in, inside your mind okay i really don't want to make this a very uh, 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 long process because you have to draw in the exam also right so you can exactly see the hands are nothing but yeah these are her hands so you, you can see it's very it's very simple structure very simple shape okay so this is one hand and this will come out like this yeah for now i'm just leaving the palms i'm going to demonstrate the palms directly on the paper because palms need a little more uh, attention so this is what we have this is what i'm trying to tell you when i'm saying that you should dissect the character just imagine all the different elements in 3d shapes i mean 3d forms so this is gauri for us mm, let me draw the other feet also so that it's visible properly so let me dissect again without seeing the uh, character for you cut so we have uh, the torso which is of this shape this shape right you can see the uh, bottom uh, surface is much bigger because we this this surface we can only see from our eye level or somewhere near the eye level but the bottom is below us so it becomes bigger uh, that is a basic perspective rule and let's uh, let me make the uh, center line here so this is nothing but her hip her hip line from the front okay and this is her chest line just like where yeah okay yeah so now as we dissected the legs legs will be here you can see uh, dissection actually <laughs> means that you have to think through the forms the legs the details of the legs are not given but still we are we are trying to draw it because we have to fold the legs right so 
and the chapati that we were talking about is like this yeah this is the upper surface of the chapati and lower surface of the chapati and yeah What I'll do is, yeah. uh, in this pose, I'll just extend the arms out so that it's not going behind. Yeah. Right. And uh, this lady has no neck, no body shaming, but, but she's a little bit fat. So people with no neck and an oval head, her head is so big that it coincides with the shoulder. So here it is, it is not happening, but here the shoulders are also heavy. But a little bit small, small detail, uh, sorry, small, small differences will be all right so it's okay and since now she is facing this side okay the uh, hair lock will be the opposite side okay and let me just make this for now for the palms So guys, this is gory. Maybe the legs are too much exposed because in the picture it wasn't. So we'll put it ahead. So what do we have here? We have a 3D dissected structure of gory. Okay, so uh, let me reconstruct gory in this pose. Not bhangla for now. And then we'll hop on paper. This pose we are going to make and then will try to draw Gauri in a different pose on paper because now all these data we have in our mind. So again, I'm telling you this, you don't have to do uh, in the exam hall, uh, but of course you can study different elements like the palms, the legs, the heel, if uh, you're not understanding it just by looking at it. So you can draw it and understand uh, there is a lot of space. Uh, in the exam booklet but yeah i think you should explore more on the ideas of the gesture because the acting the staging is much more important than this So this is what dissection is. Basically, we break all the elements in 3D structure and revisualize it and reassemble it uh, in a different uh, pose. So uh, I'm going to fast forward the video because the rest of the thing is just tracing on this uh, structure. And we are going to hop on paper the way you do it in real time in the exam in the following video.
Yeah. I'm not going to refine this sketch because anyhow we are going to make a Gauri on paper the way you have to make an exam. This is what goes into my mind when I talk about character dissection. So you can come up from this to this if you know the basic structure, basic form, the 3D form of the character and that you have to dissect the way I did with the red pen. Yeah. So same thing we can also do with her fishes and her basket. But wait, we are anyway going to do that. So let's stop this here. I think this pretty much looks like Gauri, what I came up with. Okay, now see what we are taking away from here is this. The hips, I mean the torso of Gauri is like a drum. Uh, there are few, uh, the lines of the hip from where the uh, leg will attach and the leg is of the shape or the structure of a frustrum and the feet are of the basic shape that is a, like a chapati, okay, a thick chapati. Okay, uh, the head is oval, an egg, okay, and the bundle of hairs, the lock of hairs behind is just a ball. And this much drawing is much more enough for seed. And rest, everything depends on your acting skills, the way you stage your character, the way the character is interacting, the expressions, and so many other things. But, but as, as far as drawing is concerned, this is enough, more than enough, because see, there is time constraint. I can make this so beautiful, but now I have to end this because we just have 10 to 15 minutes. So on that note, good luck for the exam. And if this video was helpful, mention in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram. Kherneya is my Instagram ID. And join the drawing space. Share your work there. Thank you.